And it, it is around the equity, so it's good that Cathy's put that in and, and, and you've agreed to be uh, part of uh, B. My question, however, to staff is that there's been an ongoing issue around premises and premises that were, were, were part of the legacy councils. When this all came to, to light in 2012 and there was a discussion, uh, the premises at that stage were being paid by council, uh, the maintenance as well. So my question is, moving forward, is that still currently the case and will that be uh, the case moving through to 2018? Because I know that is a definite concern for uh, three uh, of, of the COBs that we have in, um, in the Manuko ward. So can I get a, a response to that particular question, please, around the premises and the maintenance of? So through the chair, uh, as we've been returning to renegotiating the strategic relationship agreement and the funding agreement, our colleagues in community facilities have been working around the development of a multi-lease uh, approach with ACAB. So the negotiation has been with Auckland Citizens Advice Bureau Incorporated. Uh, there's been a considerable amount of work done and just in the last week, uh, both uh, our colleagues and Auckland Citizens Advice Bureau Incorporated have come to an agreement both on uh, the area space, uh, what um, every site and um, its specifications involved in the lease and um, the costings involved, and have also come to agreement around uh, payment and funding. In my understanding, uh, not being the person who's been the officer working in that space, is that uh, everything is covered and inclusive, and a report is currently being prepared to go to all local boards, and all local boards have already been uh, contacted ab about that report that will be coming uh, shortly. Okay, Ch Chair, then, uh, for me, I think that's one of the key issues that I've been asked to put on the table here. It's around the premises because um, the consultation around that is that the CABs have been advised through the community lease that they will have to pay for the premises. They will have to end up paying for the maintenance of those premises. And um, they're obviously definitely concerned because that eats into the, the monies that is, is required to the running of the CAB. So I look forward to... To the, to the end result of those negotiations. Thank you. Thank Councillor you, Chair. <coughs> the existing 12 bureau um, are located mostly in the west and south. Is that, can you just tell us where they are located? Through you, Mr Chair, the, they range from... Um, no, they're, they're all over Auckland, so they range from... Um, uh, from Sorry. Helensville, Walesford, Albany... Etc. All the way down to um, uh, in the south, there is Botany, Papakura, etc. So, so, the, so the, the twelve are um, clusters, and there's th there's actually thirty two altogether. Yeah. Um, because I've always thought they were, they do a fantastic job, and I just wonder, you know, there's a report coming back, or there's always reports, but. Um, is there a body of work looking, and it would be an LTP thing, so that's 80 months away now or whatever, but is there a body of work coming back that looking into whether this is something we should um, expand uh, into, into gaps where there isn't a CAB, or we may have some other alternative um, facility service occurring there? I mean, is there a body of work uh, investigating whether this is the way we should go by maybe replacing some other things? and just because we're going to consultation but I, with the local boards, but I suppose I'd be quite interested in um, seek information from the staff regarding the long-term the long-term plan for C, the provision of CABs and or alternative services in Greater Auckland. Is is that a silly question? Maybe Dean could ask that if it's an LTP thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I was away from this desk as that <laughs> question was being made. Uh, so I, I can't answer that in okay. fairness to me or you for that matter. But Christine, you might be able to respond. Thank you. Um, 
so part of the relationship agreement that we're negotiating currently is um, to put in place a process of being able to review current locations, current um, and, and look and uh, you know the changing population of Auckland and look to be able to be more responsive to that. So that would that would potentially involve um, closing some offices, opening new ones in areas of greater need, that kind of thing. So I just wonder if the mover and seconder could put in a couple of words there, would say, seek information from the staff regarding a review of the surface after consultation with the 21 local boards. Because all that's really saying is we're going to have a chat to them. It doesn't actually say we're reviewing things, even though it's implied. But sometimes we want to have these things in a resolution. And as I say, I, when it comes to funding, we had any implications, that would be an oh, LTP thing. It's going to happen, but we put it in there. Okay. So I think um, if, if I can just maybe, uh, we've had issues concern, uh, raised around if we're going to fund, are we satisfied that uh, the way those services are being provided across all of Auckland is meeting the changing needs of Auckland and where real need, as we understand it, lies. Yep. Um, so I think it's probably fair for us to um, do a review with ACAB to make sure that our expectations, based on the fact that we're a key funder and what the, the service they're delivering uh, matches up. And if we've got a difference of opinion, we should out that and then, and then discuss it and agree what we're going to do with that. Yep. Uh, okay. And part of that would be to consult with local boards to make sure we understand because they're a key stakeholder in that relationship. So I think it makes sense. We just need to work through now how to give that effect and over what time frame. So maybe we can come back with a... We'll think about the proposal for making that work. You OK with that, Christine? OK. So, Mr Wilcox. Yes, I have a couple of questions. And the first one regards... I mean, I just looked up their website. They've got... Uh, umpteen num number of languages, I don't even see Māori in it. However, the statistics pr say that Māori are the most likely group of ethnicity or group of people that are to get in trouble with the law or through, un through ignorance of, of such. So I'm just really concerned that where the bulk of Māori are, mainly in south and the west, that that they are getting the service because the you know the ten thousand dollars to each group doesn't cut the mustard when the need is definitely needed in the west and the south. Um, I'm just concerned that we're just going to give a bucket and that and that's how it's going to go. Do we have any control over how this money is is provided? No, 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 Neville. Yeah. So we're going to look at that, Glenn. Yeah, and it's that with ACAMS. Part of the motion will obviously be helpful to look to review that. Yeah, because this is a this is a real, chair. This is a real concern to the statutory board that 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 there's an inequity here, and that that money is not being sent to where it's most needed. Okay. Thank you. Have you got another question? No, that one. No, okay, you had two, but that one. Okay, um, Councillor Crump. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted to um, back up the comments that Councillor Filipina was making. And I agree um, in certain review um, in B, but I think we'll find a review back um, from ACAB in terms of some of the facility issues, and it certainly is the case in my ward. Um, and speaking of my ward, wonderful to have the Mangari Otahu local board here. But my understanding is that only Hanga is the busiest branch in Auckland. <laughs> not, not to be competitive. Um, <laughs> I, can I just get some clarity, please, on, on the sequence of the, the timing, the sequence of the negotiations? So we're here for the funding agreement, but you're in cahoots right now on the relationship agreement. So back three years ago, we were, is that the way round? And, and it was three years, and now it's going to be two years. So just sequencing and, and timing and space of negotiations. Uh, so, through the Chair, just to acknowledge that um, the previous strategic relationship agreement incorporated the funding agreement, so, so they were held as one document, and that's, um, 
at the moment, as we develop the funding agreement, it too will sit as part of the strategic relationship agreement. In terms of the timing, uh, the proposal currently is to uh, make sure that the agreements work with council funding cycles. So the proposal is for to respond to the long-term plan and to uh, have the strategic relationship agreement and funding with that for a two-year period now, looking towards uh, plus three, plus three, dependent on decisions made. Does that answer all of Yeah, no, questions? no, it does. So it's just a functional sequencing by us for the LTP cycle. Yeah, okay, thanks. Yeah. Councillor Quags. Oh, Mr Chairman, thank you. And I may be a little bit off topic, and, uh, and I'm sure you'll tell me if I am. <laughs> um, but I um, just want to acknowledge the... Uh, the uh, AMP Capital for their generous uh, contribution to uh, giving space for the Botany uh, CAB. Uh, they've given uh, uh, a, some office, some office uh, space in that area. Just want to acknowledge um, uh, their contribution to this organisation. Thank you. And Councillor Casey. Now you're going to move this, Councillor Casey. Yeah, right? I'll move it. I also okay. just wanted to to let everybody know the next meeting of the Community Development and Safety Committee is on the theme of the social consequences of intensification. <laughs> and it might be quite a good opportunity for CABX to come along and tell us about their strategic plan so that we're at least up to, to, up to the minute with them. So I would suggest that that invitation is extended. Okay, so Councillor Casey moves it. Councillor Crum Second. seconds it. Um, any discussion? I'll put the motion. Those in favour? Aye. 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 Against? Okay, that carries. Thank you very much. I wonder what you've stepped into here, Christine. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, no, um, then we now move to item 11, no, District Licensing Committee.